What's going on, man? What's your name? Jermaine. Jermaine. I'm Edric. Nice to meet you. What's going on, man? What's your name? Mochi. Mochi. Emmanuel. I'm Edric. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the BI. There's some snacks over there if you want. So today is the um, new orientation for the upcoming cohort. There's over 60 different people of color, um, all young men who are here at the UW for the first time, who are interested in this program, the Brotherhood Initiative. Welcome cohort six to the Brotherhood Initiative. Give it up for yourself. The Brotherhood Initiative is a cohort-based learning community for men of color. It's really to increase retention and graduation rates. And the idea is to provide them with a set of resources and be intimately involved in their college journey so they can be successful citizens, students, entrepreneurs, and try to live their best lives. We have 7,800 freshmen, 3.5% black, 0.2% American Indian, 7% um, Latino. So that means that you're not likely to see anybody who looks like you around campus which is why you know, we created this space for we, us to sort of bond and get to know each other. College in general is just hard for, for any student, but being a man of color, treated as criminal and stereotyped, society has low expectations, all of those things have a cumulative effect on the sort of psyche and the learning environment. A lot of us end up questioning uh, if they really should be here. So this program does a really good job of um, letting people know that like you really belong on this campus. Cohorts like really matter, building trust and relationships and study groups and they travel abroad together. 16 of us became really close, yeah. To the point where we ended up renting two houses, I guess kind of officially becoming the first like BEI house. So that was a pretty unique experience, yeah. So the Sisterhood Initiative is definitely following in the footsteps of the Brotherhood Initiative. So many women of color we are successful in like say getting through undergraduate, getting to graduation. Not that we had like the greatest time doing it, right? It's kind of cause we like kind of kept our heads down and we just did our work. And so my hope would be for students in the Sisterhood Initiative and for women of color in general, that they can thrive during their undergraduate years. You know, I just really want people to enjoy their time here and really find their place, find their community and feel supported along the way.